Hey, Nikki. Hey, Brandon. Um, I think it's time. It's the final countdown. I think I think this might be our last adventure with Tommy. I'm sad. I know. I feel a lot of emotions about it. Yeah. Mostly um, just like I'm horny. <laughs> and this is a lot I'm dealing with. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of emotions packed into this. But... It was like, I think Craig's depressed. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Craig's got some stuff going on. Let's Which see what we... Which makes me love him more. I know. Let's... Let's get into it. <clears throat> the stars are so much brighter out here. I wish it'd be funny if the credits just fucking <laughs> rolled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I miss this, Tommy. Me too. We stay here until it gets late. Half remembering stories from college... We watch as the fire dies and eventually clamber into the tent. Ooh. We crawl into the tent and I unfurl my sleeping bag. Wait, where's the other sleeping <laughs> bag? <laughs> uh, classic. Classic Tommy. I look around for a second. Oh. Oh no, I must have left it at home. I know that's not how Tommy's talking. But... That's how Tommy's talking. talking. It's all yours, dude. I'm sorry. I'll just curl up over here. No way. Here. Craig unzips the sleeping bag and spreads it out so there's enough room for both of us to lay on top of it. Night, bro. Good night, bro. (laughs) I roll over and we face away from each other. Without a blanket, it's really cold. I shiver, and without realizing it, I find myself nestling closer to Craig. I'm sure he won't mind. (laughs) He turns over, and I can feel his breath on my neck. It's hard to focus on anything else. I turn over, trying to get more comfortable. I open my eyes and find Craig's face only a few inches from mine. For once, he looks at peace. His eyes flutter open. His hands find my waist. Find the face on my waist. (laughs) Ah! His hand finds a place on my waist. (laughs) That's a tongue twister. That is, yeah. I'm not sure who leans in first, but suddenly we're kissing. (laughs) Ah! We look at each other again. My heart is racing. Craig. I got strong feelings for you, bro. Feelings I can't deny anymore. Bro. Me too. I run my hands through his hair. Down his chest, Craig brings me closer, wrapping his arms around me. I feel so secure. You know, talking about old times is fun, but I like making new memories with you. Aw. I smile, tracing the lines of his hip with my finger. We kiss again. I'm not worried about us getting too cold tonight. Ew. Hey. Starlight. <laughs> Alright, so we did alright. Day complete! Day complete! <laughs> it's funny because we were worried about it being too long. <laughs> well, there's got to be some wrap up and stuff, yeah, I assume. No, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's, there's a bit. There's got an bit. S. Awesome. Well, I messed up that one time. That was like a half mess up. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think you did pretty good. Just drinking some water. <clears throat> it's gonna really parch. Just, you know. you know, from all this fucking heat. <laughs> In the vapors. Ah, oh, Lord of the vapors. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> and then the game crashes, and like we can't finish it. Oh my god! That, I told you that happened with Pikmin, right? No. Yeah, we were at the last boss, and the game would not beat it. <gasps> Every time it would get to zero health, it would just freeze. <gasps> yeah, I never beat Pikmin because of that. Pikmin, Nintendo, fix this. Fix it. I will send our goons after you. I want to make a psychic prediction. 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 Um, next year, next summer at E3, Nintendo will announce Pikmin 4, or the next Pikmin. Oh. Just punch that microphone. Just punch the microphone. For emphasis. Yep. I haven't done that, I don't think, since the first couple of episodes. Yeah. And it's just funny, because, again, I just rewatched those. Anyway. <laughs> Woo, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay. Gotta act natural. Be cool, Tommy. Be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Something fishy? 
Brats. Sorry, <laughs> sweetie, it's the feds. That life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send him in a different direction. But even I'm no match for the power and the funding of the U.S. government. Well, if they think they're gonna take me alive, they got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Yeah, I can tell. You're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Father, it would... It would be fill my heart with glee. I can't imagine writing the amount of, like, dialogue this game has. I'm just a little surprised. There's quite... There's a good number of typos. There's a good number of typos are, like, duplicate. Yeah. Like, yeah eh. We may need to update the game. Who knows? Who yeah. knows? Yeah. Not, not yeah. knocking it. Just for, like, a little surprise. Yeah. Especially this it's, last it's, little party. It's fun. It's yeah, fun. It's fine. It's a good time. It's anyway. fine. Game creators are human, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Go to the kitchen. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where I present lies covered under a tablecloth with, with a present... <laughs> Where a present lies under a tablecloth. Why? Why? Under a tablecloth. <laughs> it's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it. But, cheeks. <laughs> Aw, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. No way! I figure you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be uh, nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of long haul paranormal, paranormal ice road ghost truckers? This is all 19 seasons! Holy shit. And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. <laughs> Dad, I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pig skin or something? Totally. I follow Amanda to the back door. What? Ah. You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah. Everyone wanted to come and support you. Is that a mac and cheese bar? <laughs> sure is. Fully customizable. Down to the type of mac. And there's an ice cream cake. The good kind with the crunchies in the middle. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals. All right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Tommy! Brian! You made it! Ha! I don't pass up on good Mac! What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Fuck you, Brian! <laughs> <laughs> My least favorite! I don't know why I invited you and Daisy. Just not bad! Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. Thank you! For the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi. Amanda's dad. Hey. Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? <laughs> this is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. You're very welcome. Tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. <laughs> Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. Fuck you, Brian. Looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully we'll see you at more church events. We've got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you weren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Sure, Joseph. 
That'd be great. Well, see you later. Load ropes. <laughs> Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Tommy. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she'd turn it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Oh, we got a scholarship. Hell yeah. Woo! Whoa! Amanda walks really <laughs> fast by and pretends not to see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Did she say fuck you? She said pew pew. Oh, I thought she went, ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore. So I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me. You're right. Go forth, adults. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm going to break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Nope. And I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. So, she'll fit into college just fine. <laughs> hey. Hey. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. See you later. Hey, man. Matt! Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of banana bread Kennedys ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake is divine. Mm -hmm. Was that me? Yeah. yeah. I was like, what was his voice even? No, he's a real punk. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. That's not even what it was, but... Eh, thanks for coming by. Hey, looks like Amanda's hanging out with Briar and Hazel. Let's see what they're up to. Okay, Briar, think of a shape. Hazel, what's she thinking? <laughs> Square. Wait, you were Hazel. I think I was Briar, because like, Brandon. Right. My bad, sorry. Square. Briar? Star. We'll get it next time. <laughs> awesome. Amanda leans in close to Briar and Hazel, lowering her voice. Listen, you guys can be real with me. If you're downplaying your psychic abilities, I want you to know that you can trust me. Heck, even think of me as the third twin. <laughs> Amanda, that's a triplet. You know, Dad, by the time I'm done with these kids, we're going to be finishing each other's... What? You didn't finish your sentence. What are we going to be finishing? Each other's... Yeah. Sentences! See? Third twin. I have to go. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat... On our back porch step, the sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. Oh, no. <laughs> for me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's, there's been times in my life where you were my only friend. <laughs> I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to been to prepare me for this and I'm ready I wouldn't be who I am today without you don't cry don't cry I swear to god Tommy if you cry again 
You're the best, Dad. I love you. <laughs> and I'm crying. <laughs> anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. Present time. Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find a framed picture of me and... <laughs> it's us. Kind of shocking all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we needed at least one together before I leave. <laughs> Amanda, I said such horrible things about you when we started this adventure. <laughs> Thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman. And I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock em dead, kid. Always do. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff, intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. Ah, uh, you're still kinda shitty sometimes. <laughs> it would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard, where Craig is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. <laughs> he smiles at me. That's so romantic. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Me and the Emmas are going to go get ice cream. Love you, pops. Pew, pew. Amanda runs off to join her friends. Did you say Emma? Mm -hmm. Or you say the twins? Emma. Oh, the, nice. the Emmas. The Emmas. Huh. I take a seat next to Craig as the last guest makes their way out of the party. I can't believe I have a cherry blossom tree in our backyard. <laughs> Tommy's the fucking coolest. <laughs> Bro. Bro! This reminds me of those parties we used to throw. Fewer keg stands, of course. Probably for the best. I don't want to get my hip replaced after a party trick goes wrong. We can leave keg stands in the past. I'm, uh, taking this weekend to relax. This party was my first stop out of the express train from the relaxation station. Next stop is Napville. Pull into the Tommy Concourse. I'd like to book a ticket to Napville as well. I might have to meet you halfway at eating food directly off of your own stomach down. <laughs> we both giggle, but man, do I want to just pour some chips on my belly while I hang out in a hammock. Craig, I realize I think they meant like your own stomach, but never mind. Craig. <laughs> but it could also be sexy. Yeah, I don't that's know. Fine. I'm glad you're making time for yourself. Me too. Stress is a funny thing, dude. I didn't realize how overworked I was until we got away from the city. It's honestly just as destructive as binge drinking every night and eating burritos off of the floor. I guess we need to get out of the city more often, then. Wink. <laughs> Craig kicks his legs over the side of the bench and leans onto me. Laying down on my lap, I run my fingers through his hair. You're looking for balance. I admire that. I'm trying to not feel guilty about doing things for myself. It's a process. And it's going to take me some time to figure it out. I might need your help, bro. Craig, I'll be your bro to the day I die. And if being your bro means forcing you to take care of yourself, then I'll happily oblige. Craig looks up at me, smiling. Bro. That means so much to me. Craig sits up and pulls me into a kiss. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we both laugh. You and me, we're gonna be alright. Is that it? Have you Maybe ever read Rich Dad Poor Dad? No, I haven't. Ah, that's it. That was it. We dated the dads. We did it. We dated the dads. Tommy and Craig forever. Hashtag Tommy and Craig forever. I'm gonna miss Tommy. I'm gonna miss Tommy too. It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be quite a thing. 
Um, man, what's your favorite Tommy memory? Um. Oh, crispy bacon. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my favorite Tommy memory is all of them. All of them. Is how much he hated Amanda. Honestly. Yeah, that was more the beginning. That kind of fell away. <laughs> I enjoyed Tommy's relationship with Brian, and I didn't like Brian. Uh, the, the competitiveness, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Yeah. I, I, well, I guess my favorite is actually like his love of reality shows. Uh, it's pretty great. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty cute. Yeah. Man. Fuck that Penguin minigame. Sorry, that was the worst. Yeah. Dad battle minigame? We didn't do that. Sorry, yeah, you did. did. That was the Pokemon one. Oh, radio minigame? Nope. No. Oh, there's no. lots of things we didn't do. No. Nope. Well, nope. we're going to have to find yes. a new... Yes, that one. We're going to have to find nope. a new... <laughs> yes. We're going to have to find a new uh, Thirsty Thursday game to play. Yes. We are. Yeah. Because we are thirsty. Yes. That did not change. So, yeah. <laughs> We're still thirsty. Still thirsty. <laughs> um, that'll be next week. By the Baths. Oh, I still check out Baths. Cause that was that, that was, was a, that's it's a good song. It's a fucking banger, man. It's a bop. Mm-hmm. This is not DVP by Pup. That's funny. Th- that's really funny. That's I like that ballad of a fallen dad. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, it's been fun. This has been our longest journey. We've been, this is uh, been playing this since day one, since week one. Yeah. Now we're this is this is what 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 is this week? Twenty. Twenty eight. Um, no, 29. Week 29. 29. Yep. Man. All right. Well, got to thank all of our dads. Yes. want to thank my dad. Yep. Thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. Thanks, Game Grumps. That was fun. Thanks, Game Grumps. Game from Game Grumps. Okay. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. Tommy Snarf. Tommy Snarf. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Why would you do that? <laughs> I will click continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I can't believe you've done this. Oh, what's happening? <gasps> we got a special picture of Craig. Oh, big fan. Go flapjacks. All right. Getting that Gatorade. Some, yes. Thrown on him by a ghost. Those are some short shorts. Those are some doing? short shorts. Do you, why do you have a what? Lots going on there. I'm flustered. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. No more surprises. I don't think. Okay. I think that's it. That well, was quite the roller coaster. That was. All we right. We did it. We did it. We beat Dream Daddy. Ah! Twenty nine weeks. So that's if, all it takes. That's all it takes. Somebody ask you how if long you, it takes to beat. Tw- twenty nine weeks. If you want to play, it's twenty nine weeks. It's just twenty nine weeks it's of your life. It's just twenty nine weeks of your life of no dating dads. Twenty nine weeks of dating dads. Agreed. Uh, ah. Uh, <sighs> Dream Daddy. We'll, we'll see you guys next week mm-hmm. for some more thirsty action. Something probably very, very different. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye.